Alright, and we're back yet again with some more Let's Play Tales of Legendia. And today, my lips and my mouth are all salivated. I have my glasses on to make sure I don't have too many screw-ups with reading, because that has been kind of a problem because of my right eye. But anyways, last episode we came to the Village of the Fairness, because, what's his face, um... Oh, what was his name? What was his name? Uh, oh, Moritz wanted to talk about, wanted to talk to us, you know, sort of bring more peace between the Araranus and the Fairness. Then we had Fenimore's sister come in and say, Get out! I want all of you Araranus dead! Fuck you guys! Go home! Well, actually, go drown in the ocean! Let this be our home! And that was it. And now we need to go and find, oh, Shirley right there. That was difficult. <clears throat> Aw, she's crying. Shirley, are you alone? Did you find Thyra? Oh no, I came across Fenimore's grave here first, so... I see. Shirley, you down in the dumps or what? Norma, be a little more considerate. It's alright, I'm not alone anymore. Oh no, we have an earthquake. Jesus Christ. Is this... I have to say, I'm like not hearing anything through my TV. I just had the volume off. Whoa, an earthquake? Yeah! Let's go rescue Thyra. What was that scream? Oh, it sounded like Thyra. It came from near the entrance. Shirley joined. Okay. Oh, party's still in good order, so let's go and find Thyra. Yeah. Obviously, it's not too much of a problem since there are people just still randomly walking about. No, I'm... Uh-oh. Oh, goodness. Who knew that bitch would come out? Offer unto me your hatred and your desires, child. Look out! Oh! <laughs> Actually, made me kind of feel bad hearing that whimper. Let's get it! Stay away from me! <clears throat> the Black Mist! Oh boy. It turned into that round thing again. Is it going to possess a monster? Not if we can help it. Let's go! I won't let you hurt the people I care about. So did it fuse or are they going to be two separate things here? I uh, know, it obviously fused. That's... Uh, turn that down one more notch. Uh, magic Lens, if I had to guess you're weak to water, aren't you? Yep. Oh my! That guy is... An Olympic runner. What the? Oh no, we're panicked! It's risky to get too close. No! It's risky to get too close. It's, it's Stop it! Oh no, confusion! Okay, I was like... Here, use this! Twin demon! Twin demon! Whirlwind! Cure! I was about to say, please, Norman, don't... Wait, do I still have... Yeah, I... St oh, that's why! I kept hitting... I don't know why I was hitting L2 for Norma. Eris, Norma, let's have you revive her. He yeah, have revive Will. Ow! 
Ah, oh, shoot. Did I just can't... Okay, thank God. Wait, where'd it go? Come on, camera. Oh, he canceled it at just the right... Wow, that's adorable. He hit her at just the right moment so it didn't actually go through. Shit. Oh, no, I don't even have... I was about to say, Jesus, I almost didn't get him there. Ow. At least that doesn't hit that hard, so it's not too much of a problem. Alright, we'll revive Chloe again, because... Well, Chloe can never survive in this game anymore. Oh, that's why she... I feel stupid now! I was sitting there going, it's like, how did that revive not get Chloe? And it just hit me, it's like, that's right, I keep forgetting. And I forgot. It's like, res I don't know why, I thought Resurrection was the healing one there for a second. Ow. That's right, Chloe, you stay on the other side. Come on, get him, Chloe. Can I grab him? Yes! Jesus Christ. I mean, no. R. You- Oh, Jesus. You have health. Which isn't too much of a problem, because we're actually going to come up on a boss not too far from now that's going to have a lot more health. No, don't jump to the other side. Guard, no! Uh. No, 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 Chloe, Chloe, guard! Oh my god, no! Oh, I saved her! I saved her. <laughs> God damn it, I hate that. Why do they have it do that? It's like trying to get some hits in, but then they start casting shit, and it's just, you can't hit them. Ow, no, 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 no. Come on, Norma. Nor- Thank you. I was about to say. No! I like how that hits you from behind. Yes. Get him. Jesus Christ, how much? He's close. No, why'd you do beast? Come on, die, damn it. Got to say. Boy, and that experience. That was so worth it. Ugh. <clears throat> it's all your fault. It's all because you... Oh, it's all because you came here. Shirley, watch out! What? What are you? It's okay. Don't be scared. <clears throat> Everything's okay.
the mist cleared up. Are you alright? Are you hurt? Hmm? Thanks for saving me. I'm glad you're alright. It's not like I asked you to save me. Baka baka baka! G girl! I should know what that black mist is. <clears throat> really? Perhaps we may learn the truth from an unexpected source. You can do it, G-Girl. Yes, I remember now. You do? I've remembered that there's something I'm supposed to remember. <laughs> Haven't we already established that? In other words, she hasn't actually remembered anything. Mm, no, that's not quite right. What I mean is... Yes? Hmm, what was it? You've already forgotten what you were gonna say? Oh my, that's too bad, isn't it? Come on, at least act like you're concerned. Oh my, Norma, you sound like you're having fun. How could you possibly think that? Oh, now that we're here, why don't we plant the seed? <clears throat> I give up. Let us take a little seed, plant it gently, water it well. Little seedling nestled in the ground, grow up safe and sound. Can we just plant it here without asking anyone? I don't think it'll hurt anything, but... Oh well, it's already planted now anyway. There we go. All done, G-Girl? You certainly took quite happy now. Oh, you certainly look. I don't know why I thought that was took. You certainly look quite happy now. So now the Black Mist is even more mysterious than it was before. An earthquake occurred, the mist, the mist appeared, and then it formed into a monster. Well, you look like something's bugging you. Would you think I was crazy if I suggested that the mist might somehow react to human emotion? I've been pondering that possibility as well. I mean, it's nothing more than a possibility, but... On top of that, the mist appears to have something like a will of its own. Who's controlling it, and how? It seems unlikely that it's a form of Eris. Well, at least we got rid of the monster. I guess that'll do for now. Yeah, and Tulip didn't seem to get hurt. We're finished with Moritz as well, so we should be heading back to town. Oh, I was about to say, is she still standing there? Could I talk to you for just a minute? You don't have to agree with me, but please just listen. All right. Thanks. I think it's very easy to combat hatred with hatred. Wh what? But that won't allow us to move forward. Even if I used my powers as a Marinus to destroy the land, it wouldn't lead to happiness. I don't think unleashing hatred can lead to happiness. How can you be so sure? 
instead of using my power for war, I want to use it all... Huh? Okay. I want to use it all to believe in people. To believe in people. The rareness and the fairness aren't really all that different. It's obvious once you live with them for a little while. But the rareness committed countless acts of cruelty against us. Which is why mass genocide is so justified, I guess. <laughs> yes, that's true. But it doesn't mean that all rareness are cruel. I want to find a path that the fairness and a rareness can walk along together hand in hand. That's why I'm staying with Sennel and the others. That's why this is killing my throat. Anyway, that's how I feel right now. If you don't agree with me, that's fine. If you want to hate me, that's fine. But I'll continue to believe that a day will come when everyone will understand. <laughs> Sorry to keep you guys. Let's go. Wait. Are you happy right now? Yes, very. How can I say anything after seeing a smile like that? I don't think I can forgive you anytime soon. I don't think I can agree with you anytime soon. But little by little, I'd like to restore happiness to this place too. I want to see people smile again. Yeah, let's do our best to see what happens. So until then, until then, please let me hate you. That's fine, if it'll make it easier for everyone. It's okay. I'm sure she'll understand someday. Yeah. You did a marvelous job of telling her how you feel, Shirley. Thank you. Ugh, that was straining my throat to keep that going for so long. Someday we may be glad about it. What? That the Marinus turned out to be the kind of person she did. Chief. We've barely begun to talk, and no one can yet tell what the future will bring. However, the sea is calm. Yes. There may be hope. That smile was real. I need a drink. Mmm. Tastes so good and refreshes my throat. Eases the pain. I think that was it for the interlude, actually. I think we may have to do... Run around a little bit in town. But yeah, that was pretty much it, I think. Wanna head to our place? Alright. I hate it when it does that shit. It's like, really pointless little thing that comes up. It's like... We're going this way! It's like, yeah. That's all I wanted to tell you. Oh, okay. Yep. Should be over after this. <laughs> I can't tell if he made any progress or not, you know? Yes, that's too bad. I'm glad we went to the village. I got to talk about a lot of things. Yeah. I wonder if Tulip will calm down a bit now. She doesn't need to calm down. If she has something to say, she can look us right in the eye and say it. Yeah, that's how it should be. Ah, we're going into Chloe's. Okay. What's up, Chloe? Chloe. Mm-hmm. Oh, nothing. I 
I'm so beat. I want to go to bed. Oh, yes, me too. A nice fluffy bed. Let's go ahead and call it a day. All right, to bed. Charge! It's easy to combat hatred with hatred. She's right. That was the easiest choice to make. If someone asked me if I was happy right now, I doubt I could answer with a smile. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, we're going into the fun character quest now. Mother, please open your eyes! Please, open your eyes! Mother! Mother! Oh, I remember who this is. If you had simply handed over your valuables, your lives would have been spared. If you ever wield a sword, I will show you no mercy. But if that is your resolve, then so be it. <laughs> yeah, I'm not doing that stuff. You can't even find the resolve to fight. So the noble house of Volans is reduced to this. Pitiful. Get away! Get away from me! No, no, get away! <laughs> And on that day, Chloe was killed. Oh, but wait, then she came back to life. That dream again. I thought I'd finally stopped having it. Oh, it's raining. When will I finally be free from this curse? After this character quest. Uh, okay. I was about to say, are we going into the save screen? or? The rain stopped. I hadn't had that dream since I returned to the legacy. I thought I'd finally... I guess I'm not allowed to forget. Is that you, Elsa? It's unlocked. I, uh, I need to talk to you about something. Father went out to search for medicinal ingredients, but he still hasn't come back. So I... <coughs> Calm down, Elsa. Speak slowly. Uh, okay. Did something happen to Alcott? When he left, he said he'd be back by last night. But he still hasn't returned, and I'm starting to worry. Understood. I'll go look for him. Where was he going? He said he was going to some fortress. The fortress of the Va... something army. The hidden fortress Vaclav's army used? Vaclav, yes, that's it. But, Chloe, could you... could you please take me with you? No, it's too dangerous outside the city. On top of that, you're ill. I can't allow you to do something like that. I know, but please, I'm so worried about him. 
Alcott would be so sad if your condition worsened. This isn't the first time Father hasn't returned for days. Every time he either comes back exhausted or seriously injured. I understand how you feel, but you need to wait here. He could come back at any time. If he found you gone, it would only give him cause to worry. Father is searching for those ingredients for me. I can't bear the thought of him being injured or getting into danger just because of me. Elsa. So please, take me with you. No. I'll ask Coolidge and the others for help. You wait here. You won't change your mind no matter what? No matter what. Alright, I'm sorry for being so stubborn. Now she's gonna try and wake us up. Gotta see how this turns out. Seno, wake up! How how long do you plan on staying in bed? Uh, Shirley? I'm not Shirley, I'm Hattie! Morning, Shirley. Hey, snap out of it! Wake up! Like father, like daughter, huh? Stop babbling already and come to my house. Chloe's looking for you. Okay. Alright, but anyways, we're going to end this episode off here because of the time limit. Anyways, we're about to start the fun character quest. Uh, uh the one with, well, kind of multiple bosses. Well, some of them have multiple bosses, but this one we're going to have more bosses than the others, and some of them are going to be fun. Well, <gasps> yeah. Anyways, yeah, we're going to end this episode off here for now. So, as usual, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode, and I will see you all next time with some more Let's Play Tales of Legendia. So, until then, I'll see you later, guys.